I think a servant leader is a person who is displaying a great moralistic value, great responsibility. Someone who has inherent in them the desire to do good. Somebody who's committed to helping other people develop into their best possible selves. Someone, uh, it's, it's never about that person. What it's about is how uh, that person can identify gifts in other people. To give a lot of service back to the community or to those who you're leading and to then encourage those who you have led to become leaders themselves. Success is not measured by achievements. Success is measured by what you give back. So Lisa has a degree uh, in economics from Seton Hall and she also has an MBA. And she works uh, for Bank of America where she started in, in the corporate sector, but now she primarily supports uh, businesses and um, in the health sector and nonprofits. And so Lisa's told me that for her, uh, her gratification from work comes from seeing the nonprofits that she works with thrive and be successful. And so that idea um, that you take, you take joy and you take gratification in other people's successes, I think is very important to the vision of, of servant leadership. And, and Lisa's a really good example of that. She, she's doing well professionally, but she's also doing good as part of her doing well. A pioneer is really someone who who forges new ground, someone who leads the way, someone who creates a new path. And that's a fantastic description of this dynamic, intelligent, articulate woman, Rosemary Mercedes. The College of Communication in the Arts has a motto, it's a tagline. It's your passion, your calling, your future. And I feel like Rosemary Mercedes is the very embodiment, the manifestation of that tagline. Because as she was here as a student, she found her passion and she has taken that passion to where she works and it has become her calling. And, and then it is the future for our students and that's what she brings to us. So your passion, your calling, your future are part of Rosemary's very life work. Thomas Lloyd Smith is a true visionary. He started his own charter school in Boston, a public charter school, which was really designed around the idea that it takes a community to help a student be successful. Thomas is someone who knows how to connect the dots. When he was an undergraduate here, he was the first African-American president of SGA. In that capacity, he started um, a cultural coalition club. He uh, instituted a leadership conference for um, school students, public school students in nearby areas to begin to develop leadership skills in young people. So Thomas could see early on that being a teacher involved being in the community, involved connecting those dots between what happens outside of school and what happens inside of school. So if you look at the trajectory of his career, whether he was starting a charter school, starting an educational foundation, or in his current work as an attorney who specializes in educational issues and does so many other things, uh, at the same time, you can really see that he's the type of person who we are so proud to say graduated from the College of Education and Human Services because he embodies the idea of a servant leader. Barbara Kiernan is someone who gives everything of herself. She gives back to her alma mater, she gives back to the community, she gives back to the patients she serves. So Barbara has been a member of the Seton Hall University College of Nursing Alumni Association. She has been the president for many years. She taught in the college pediatric nursing, and then she moved on. When she moved to Georgia, she maintained her connection with the College of Nursing. She has given back in so many ways by endowing a scholarship. She continues to work with the Alumni Association, and she um, has done so many things things for the college. She has been an alum who has been instrumental in moving the College of Nursing forward. She has given us 
um, not only her time and her talents, but also her treasures. And she's an excellent role model for our students. So Monsignor Linder, in addition to celebrating 55 years as a priest, uh, is someone who I think with his life and throughout the course of his life has spent it really serving the people that were entrusted to his care. Pope Francis speaks about uh, the shepherds smelling like the sheep and, uh, and Monsignor Linder really has spent all of his priesthood in the midst of his flock, working with them, living with them, struggling with them and helping them to, uh, to gain some good ground with the help of God's grace. I think that Monsignor Linder is someone who tried to live as Jesus did, who was the perfect image of a servant leader. Someone who recognized that leadership isn't just born of position, but rather it comes from the qualities that you live, the virtues that you embody, and the manner in which you give yourself to other people. That's where genuine leadership and credibility in leadership comes from. And I think that Monsignor Linder is someone who, with his life, and throughout his life showed that to be true. Colin is a great guy and he's definitely uh, making us proud because uh, his achievement as a colleague when he was at the school and now as a professional are truly remarkable. One thing that uh, is good about Colin is his capacity to work with others and to lead others. I was able to speak with him to give him the, the news of uh, being selected. You know, he was clearly very happy, but he was happy for everyone. You know, there is a sense of uh, rejoicing in everybody else rejoicing. And I think I find that very helpful, very uplifting. And now that he's an alumnus, he's clearly helping with the others as they grow into their professional life. And this is the kind of professional we want, somebody that is able to succeed, but also helping others to succeed as well. Kenyani, when she first arrived on our campus, I noticed her smile. And I noticed her smile on graduation day as well. And so just to see how happy a student she was and how much she embraced Seton Hall, she embraced her program in occupational therapy, and she embraced life. Um, I knew that down the road, she would do great things. Not only does she give back as an occupational therapist to pediatric populations, but she also has her own dance company, where she teaches dance not only to typically developing children, but to children who have learning, behavioral difficulties, and autism. Kenyani really believes that it is her God-given purpose to ensure others will achieve their dreams and live life to the fullest. Someone who believes that is clearly not only a deserving honoree of the 2018 Many Are One Alumni Award for the School of Health and Medical Sciences, but she's deserving of uh, being recognized as a servant leader. John's leadership as a president of our Alumni Council and this year as a member of our Board of Visitors is about alumni engagement. Our success in so many ways, whether it be alumni and student employment, giving back to our students, being role models and mentors for our students, and John has been a fabulous leader um, in doing that for many years, but now especially in his capacity as uh, president of the Alumni Council and his membership of our Board of Visitors. Our values at Seton Hall Law are engagement, loyalty, and integrity, and John represents all of those values. The wonderful thing about Steve is, although he's achieved a lot, he's just a very down-to-earth person who's willing to give of himself, and as busy as he is, to give his time and his financial support to the Stillman School. And one of the ways that Steve has done this, in addition to his, his personal involvement in the school, is that he was actually one of the inaugural givers to our Market Research Center, giving students a market research facility that they could use to conduct actual market research projects for live companies. There's just nothing that Steve wouldn't do for Stillman and Seton Hall, and I think that kind of loyalty and that kind of generosity is something we need to recognize and celebrate. Congratulations, Lisa. I'm proud that you are this year's recipient of the College Service Award. Rosemary, as a pioneer in the College of Communication in the Arts, to a pioneer in the workforce and Hispanic community, I want to thank you on behalf of the College of Communication in the Arts, and I want you to know how much what you give back 
does for our students and our college. Thank you. I would like to congratulate Thomas Lloyd Smith on receiving the Service Award from the College of Education and Human Services. We are all so proud of everything you've accomplished. Congratulations, Barbara. We are so happy that you're our nominee for the College of Nursing Service Award. We know that you have done so much for the college and will continue to do so as we move forward into the future. Bill, on behalf of the seminary, I just want to say my congratulations, my heartfelt congratulations to you as you receive the uh, Many Are One Award for the Seminary School of Theology. Your life and your priesthood really are a witness to all the good things that God wants us to, to, to do with our lives and the way that Jesus wants us to live. So thank you very much. God bless you and congratulations on your anniversary. Kenyani, on behalf of Seton Hall University, the School of Health and Medical Sciences, and certainly the Department of Occupational Therapy, congratulations on this well-deserved award. John, congratulations on your much-deserved receipt of the 2018 Many Are One Service Award on behalf of all you've given back to the law school. Congratulations. Steve, on behalf of our entire Stillman community, congratulations and thank you. Colin, congratulations. You are the alumnus that is bringing together 20 years. Let's go pilot. <music>